Hey folks, it's Ted here again from Clean Water Man and Danbury Manufacturing. Just want to show you what we're doing here. Um, okay, so we uh, cut out the aeration suction part over here. We placed it with some tubing. So now the well water comes straight from the well and into the tank T and into the tank. Um, we go over here. Um, I had to cut out a whole bunch of plumbing because it was completely clogged with iron. Um, and this is the new thing that we're going to do here. This is a this is an aeration filter, and if you can hear that noise, I've got it in the aeration part of the cycle. So um, we're using a product called Catalox in this filter. Um, depending on the pH, we can also use berm, but Catalox is great when a, a customer has a low pH and a lot of iron and odor in the water. Um, and instead of having to uh, continuously aerate the water as it comes in from the well, um, Catalox uh, will regenerate with um, with the oxygen from the air uh, just during our regeneration mode, which is a, a rinse, an air draw, and a um, and another rinse, uh, and that will get the iron and the odor out. Um, so that's that's what we're doing. And the main advantage here is that um, when we aerate all the way over there, and then we have plumbing that has to go all the way over to the first filter, that air mixing with the iron in the water and, and sulfur and other things uh, will tend to drop them out of solution. So solution means that the, um, the things are dissolved into the water. Well, if we aerate all the way over there and um, we give it a chance to start dropping out of solution along the way, it um, will get very clumpy and it will start to clog the pipes. Um, so, uh, what we're actually doing in here, uh, Catalox is, is basically a catalytic um, media which uh, recharges with air. And um, when I say catalytic media, what it does is it, it will uh, work with the air and it will drop the iron out of solution. Um, and the iron's not quite as clumpy at that point uh, as it is, say, when we aerate before the well tank. So um, we're getting the iron out, but we're not turning it into a big clumpy mess of iron. We're just, we're just turning it into a, a less dissolved type of iron, which, which will attach to the Catalox. And when we vigorously backwash the Catalox, it will rinse the iron away. Um, we're still following up here with a softener and a brine tank and, of course, our UV light. Um, you may notice there's no vent tank anymore because we don't need that anymore. And the other thing is, is the, the former uh, filtration company had put a 12-inch a filter in here with, with uh, iron media, which was, was quite dense. Um, the well itself, the well, the well pump, uh, just was incapable of producing enough water uh, to vigorously rinse that filter out so it got completely clogged with iron um, and then when you exasperate that um, issue by putting on a micronizer venturi on which slows the water down so that um, even more uh, that that tank was just never going to get enough flow during the backwash cycle in order to lift the the media up um, and a lot of people out there think that the best way to size a system is to well, I, I've worked with people that just say, sell the biggest thing you can, which is definitely a no-no. Um, there's also people out there that do this little test. They go up to the, the bathroom, the bathtub with a bucket, and they, they measure how quickly the water comes out of, the, um, out of the, the spout at the bathtub. And then they say, whoa, it's, it came out at 10 gallons a minute, so we have to put a, ten, you know, a system that can handle 10 gallons a minute. And they're going to, you know, they're going to end up putting in a system that actually is too big. Because if you put in a system that can actually treat the water at 10 gallons a minute, I'm not talking about just simply flowing through, but treat, it, it, it's going to be a gigantic system. And what those people that did that little test by running it from the tub spout did is they totally discounted the fact that, yeah, you may get 10 gallons a minute for a couple minutes out of this well tank, all right? But the well tank will deplete, and if the tank, uh, if the well pump is only capable of pumping seven gallons a minute, 
that's the biggest filter that you can put in. One that requires approximately a seven gallon a minute um, backwash flow rate. So if, if you've put in a, a gigantic 16 inch filter instead of a 10 inch filter, and that 16 inch filter needs say 20 gallons a minute of flow rate, and yeah, you have that for about two minutes when the thing first starts to rinse, but you need a 10 minute vigorous flow rate, that's not gonna work. So you really need to size the system to what the pump is capable of providing and not, you know, just some magic number because, oh, I went up to, to the bathtub with a bucket and I got 10 gallons out in a minute. No, you really need to know your stuff and you need to know what size pump uh, you have and how quickly it's going to make water flow into the house. Um, otherwise, you're going to not get a, a backwash flow rate that's really necessary and the system will clog up and you'll have a worse iron problem than you did even if you didn't have water treatment system, uh, a water treatment system. So basically what we have here is a 10 by 54 inch Catalox filter, our 32,000 grain water softener, and followed by the already existing UV light system, which uh, is totally functioning fine. All right, thank you for watching.